Max I/O versus Line I/O. If you go to the setup menus by tapping Shift Setup, you are going to see this screen. And the very first two options on the screen is the Max I/O and the Line I/O. The Max I/O or the Max Input Output is also called the Natural Displays, whereas the Line I/O or the Line Input Output is called the Linear Display. In this video, I'm going to discuss the rules that we use in these two methods of input to perform calculations. Let's start with the operations of fractions. Let's say we would like to perform an addition of a mixed number with a proper fractions, and we know that the answer is 2 11 over 15. And let's say we have two calculators. And the first one is set to max input output and the second one is set to linear input output. Let's start with the first calculator. Now we need to know that the max input output use the container system as its working principle. For max input output, we always start a calculations by inserting a container. For example, we have two containers for fraction. The first one is the mixed number container and the second one is the proper improper fractions container. In this case, we would like to start with a mixed number and therefore we insert the mixed numbers container first. To insert the mixed number container, we tap on shift and then fraction. Now we can see the mixed number containers on the screen. And then we can see that there are three subcontainers inside this container. The one to the left is the container for the whole number. And uh, there's another one for the numerators. And the last one is for the denominator. In our case, the whole number is two and therefore we start with two. The next containers that we would like to fill is the numerators container and we know that the numerators is one. Now to navigate from the whole numbers containers to the numerators containers, we use the left and right arrow key. Okay, so in this case, we would like to move to the right and therefore we use the right arrow key. And then we can see that the cursor moved to the numerators container and the numerators is one and therefore we key in one. Okay. And after that, we would like to move to the denominators containers. So we use the right arrow key. Um, now the cursors move to the uh, numerators. Uh, in this case, we can't see the cursor actually is already inside this container here. And then uh, the denominator is three and therefore we key in three. So this is how we input a mixed numbers into the calculator. We start by inserting uh, the containers of the mixed number. After that, we fill in the subcontainer one by one. The very next things that we would like to insert is the plus. And to do this, we need to navigate the cursor outside from uh, the denominators. And to do this, we use the right arrow key and then plus. Now the second number is a proper fractions and therefore we insert uh, the proper fractions container. Okay, so this is the proper fractions containers. Now let's fill in uh, the numerators and the denominators. The numerators is two. Okay, after that we navigate to the denominators and the denominators is five. Now we have input all the numbers and to get the answers we tap on equal. The answer is 41 over 15. The answer is given in improper fractions. We can change this to mixed numbers by tapping shift uh, SD. And now the answer is mixed numbers and we can see that uh, it's the same as the answer here. Now let's move on to the linear input output. The linear input use sequence to define numbers, functions and argument. Now let's see how it work. In order to input the mixed number two, one over three, the sequence is to start with the whole number followed by the numerators and then followed by the denominators. Therefore the sequence is two over one over three. 
So this is how it looks like. The sequence of the number tells us which part it belongs to. And let's continue with plus, plus, uh, 2 over 5, 2 over 5, and then equal. So this is answer. The answer is given in improper fractions. We can change it to mixed numbers by tapping shift SD, or we can go to the setup menu, shift setup, and then down arrow key. And then we can change the output to mixed number. So now the answer is a mixed number. So this is the difference between the max input and the linear input. The max input use the container system, whereas the linear input use the sequence systems. In next video, we are going to discuss more examples about the max input and linear input.